प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी एज अरिंदम जस्ट सेट इज ऑन आर स्टेट विजिट टू इजिप्ट एट द इन्विटेशन ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट हिज एक्सलेंसी मिस्टर अब्दुल फतेह अल सीसी दिस इज प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स फर्स्ट विजिट टू इजिप्ट ही अराइव्ड येस्टरडे आफ्टरनून एंड वॉज वार्मली रिसीव बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इजिप्ट एट द एयरपोर्ट and was also accorded a ceremonial welcome yesterday including the guard of honor at the airport uh yesterday prime minister had four major interactions the first of them the first of them referred to the uh the round table that the honorable prime minister had with the prime minister of egypt and his ministerial colleague uh this was a extensive set of discussions on following up on different areas of bilateral engagement and cooperation between india and egypt principally in economic areas this included the fields of renewable energy number one information communication technology two uh three areas relating to health and agriculture four areas relating to infrastructure partnership wherever required and other areas of uh, bilateral partnership in terms of what is the current status of that cooperation and also going forward what is it that the two countries proposed to do that constituted uh, a major discussion uh, between the two sides uh, yesterday afternoon Uh, which was thereafter followed by uh, uh, an interaction with the indian community in egypt that included businessmen professionals and students and other people from different walks of life uh, the indian community in egypt may be small but they are very vibrant uh, dynamic and an important part of uh, egyptian society here after that the honorable prime minister had a meeting with uh, his eminence the grand mufti of egypt yesterday dr shaki alam uh, there the discussion focused on how exactly two countries can partner together in countering extremist ideology on taking steps to prevent radicalization within the society including radicalization of the youth population you would all recall that his eminence the grand mufti had had a very successful recent visit to india uh, just in uh, just in may last month actually uh, and there he had a first hand uh, experience of an interaction with the uh, strong and diverse uh, social and cultural fabric of india during this meeting the honorable prime minister also announced that india will set up a center of excellence in the field of information technology at dar al ifta in cairo which is headed by his eminence the grand mufti thereafter uh, the uh, fourth uh, set of interactions which the honorable prime minister had yesterday was a meeting with the cross section of prominent personality uh from egypt uh the whole objective of that interaction was how different constituents of the two society the prominent people who role who 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 were important in shaping narratives in the society can actually come together uh, and build a more uh, vibrant people to people exchanges between india and egypt this morning the honorable prime minister visited Uh, the al hakim mosque in cairo and thereafter visited the heliopolis commonwealth war grave cemetery paid homage to the valiant indian soldiers who made their supreme sacrifice during world war 1 while protecting egypt thereafter the honorable prime minister had a program at the presidency where uh, at the al ittihadiya palace where he was very warmly welcomed and received by his excellency president sisi the two leaders had a private one to one conversation uh, uh, in which uh, following up on the visit of his excellency president of egypt to india uh, just a few months ago 
the two leaders discussed the, the full range of bilateral cooperation as also uh, uh, took stock of what's happening on important uh, issues in the region and in the world. Uh, it was very clear from those discussions and the MOU and the agreements that were signed later on that uh, the uh, two leaders gave particular focus on enhancing the political and security cooperation, defense collaboration, trade and investment ties, scientific and academic collaboration, and strengthening of people-to-people -people ties. So if you put together the yesterday's discussions between the two prime minister and the respective cabinet colleagues, and you look at what the leadership level focus between President Sisi and Prime Minister Modi was in today, you will find that some total of uh, focus areas of partnership would, would, would be these which I have just uh, listed. Thereafter, in a, in a, in a very uh, uh, a nice ceremony, President Sisi conferred on Prime Minister Modi the Order of the Nile Honor, which is the highest civilian award in Egypt. Uh, Prime Minister clearly remarked that the recognition uh, symbolizes two main things, which is the deep-rooted friendship uh, between the two countries and the, and the people of the two societies. The four uh, agreements that were uh, signed during the visit of Honorable Prime Minister, the first, the most important, uh, uh, and a landmark development in the history of our relationship, was the signature on the strategic partnership between India and Egypt. This was signed by the Honorable Prime Minister and Honorable President uh, 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 Sisi of Egypt. In addition, the two leaders also witnessed uh, the uh, exchange and on the sidelines of three other MOUs. One of them focused on agriculture and allied sectors, second one on protection and preservation of monuments and archaeological sites, and competition laws. Uh, thereafter, uh, the, there was a lunch hosted in honor of uh, Prime Minister. Uh, I should mention that uh, building on some of the key elements of uh, our partnership, which is relating to the archaeological and the cultural site, Honorable Prime Minister of India and the Honorable Prime Minister of Egypt then traveled to uh, uh, connect in some ways with these archaeological sites, but also look at uh, uh, the rich uh, historical and the uh, cultural aspects of uh, Egypt and two prime ministers visited uh, the pyramids uh, just on the outskirts of, uh, of Cairo city. Uh, again, a very, very crucial area of our partnership which is on the restoration and preservation of old cultural site. Uh, prime Minister also extended invitation uh, to the Honorable President for the G20 summit, which is upcoming in, in September 2023. Honorable Prime Minister, as Arindam mentioned at the beginning, will be departing shortly in about another 10-15 minutes uh, from Cairo for Delhi. So we don't have too much time. I'll stop here.